So I am doing on the newly, newly built mud, mud cart. Uh, so you all know what this is. Got it. Cut the basket part out where the kid sits. Cut a little hole in it. It's a hydrostatic. So this can go back and forth. You just sit your butt right there. Cut out a big hole. Cut out a little too much, but... Oh well. Hole for the steering. Gas tank just goes right on top, held in by zip ties. Mint. Uh, piece of angle iron hole drilled into the frame right there so the cart can sit on it. The roll cage is connected to the cart da over and down and connected to the frame. All over here and down. Basically, this was a bolt build. Bolt together build. The only time I welded was right here. And that's just because it was steering. I could have bolted it in, but I just wanted it to be safer because me, I am not that safe with basic lane thing because actually whenever I shut this off, it caught fire and that is why the ho uh, gas line is up there because it caught fire down here and it was, yeah. So I'm not safe at all. So that's why I welded this so I can at least control myself pretty good. Uh, tires need pumped up. I believe I'm putting a stack on there after a muffler. Uh, headlight is going on, one right here, which is actually off-road light. So, the basket just put right here and right here. And I prefer to do it with a hydrostatic transmission because like I sh am showing here, all you have to do is this. And it's so much easier because it just glides. With the gear shifter, you can do it. But you're going to have to shift through the gears and it's going to be a harder to shift especially because i actually cut the brake off there's no actual brakes on this thing it's just a just a frame with the lever so that's another reason why i prefer the hydrostatic over the gear shifter because you actually need to stop to shift the gears unless you got to shift on the go but that's still kind of sketchy off the back here i'm going to be running two pieces of angle out and a plate that goes on here so someone can stand while holding on to this. And I'm actually going to put uh, push mower tires on the back of it. So we can do wheelies and stuff with it and still be fine to go. Um, other than that, I have to hook up the wiring. <coughs> this is an old shower nozzle. Or a sink nozzle that I just tossed on top of the gas cap just forced it on and it stays on uh gas can can get more secure wiring is going to get done so it's actually going to be key start battery is going to sit right there i'm thinking about putting a little basket underneath that so i can carry stuff with it like tow ropes and stuff and i'm thinking about bringing this to the derbies and uh pulling myself out with this thing i think that would be a pretty good crowd pleaser <laughs> um if you're on the instagram page the engine that was smoking really, really bad was actually this engine uh, that I put into that, took out of that, put into this, which was actually the uh, Brown Craftsman that I was going to make my off-road rig. So it's actually still my off-road rig. I, I didn't lie about that, but I kind of changed it up a little bit more than I did anything. So, But I have the key here. I got the headlight switch right here. Everything is already ready to go. I just have to plug it in and run a battery to it, and then we'll be minty fresh. And, uh... Take that off, because I don't know why that's there. But, tires fill them up, and that's about it. <laughs> 